The flooding from the destruction of the Novakhovka Dam in Ukraine is continuing to spread, now hitting the city of Mykolaiv. And the Red Cross is warning that one particular side effect of this disaster could pose an incredible danger to civilians even decades from now. Unexploded landmines and other munitions that have been swept away by the flood and now could literally be anywhere. They could still be in minefields, or they could be in the middle of roads, someone's backyard, or in their own home. As one Red Cross official put it, the only thing we do know is that the mines are somewhere downstream. Andrew Mathewson is with the Halo Trust, an NGO that clears land mines, and has been working in the Mykolaiv region. The immediate threat to us and our staff and civilians is the fact that mines might move, and that will you know, that will lead to the, to the need for us to resurvey these areas, remark them as minefields, um, and, and obviously re, reorganize ourselves in terms of how to approach the clearance problem. Beyond that, the mines might not only move, but they might also fluctuate in terms of the way they're laid, which poses another risk. We've seen 5,000 mines in that region in the last month alone. Um, it, it, yeah, it, it's, it's basically impossible to give an estimate. I mean, the contamination is so so massive um, the conflict is ongoing um you know it, it the size of ukraine itself you know the front line is a thousand two hundred miles um yeah it, it unfortunately it's just really impossible to say that could be yeah could be one percent could be point zero 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 one meanwhile evacuations from the flood are ongoing but the fighting around it hasn't stopped Ukrainian authorities said Thursday that a civilian was killed and several others wounded in what they called targeted strikes by Russian shelling in one of the cities hit by the flood, Kherson. Russia also accuses Ukraine of shelling rescue workers in parts of the region that it occupies.